friends, welcome back to our channel, We the Demi Gods. Today I am presenting part 2 of a video on drones. In this video, we learn more about drones and more about the applications of drones. If you haven't seen part 1 already, it will be in the link in the description below. So without any more delay, let's get started. Like drones are of various types, the payloads on drones can be of various types too. Payloads are nothing but cameras on the drones. They can vary in resolution and in types. For example, there can be payloads that focus on thermal imaging or there can be payloads that focus on infrared technology that they use to display the images. Now suppose you need to capture images of a structure at night. The camera can detect heat signatures and display them to the ground control station, that is, thermal imaging. Another way for night imaging could be the use of image intensifying technology. This uses II tubes to intensify light by a few stages. Payloads also have gimbals attached to them to absorb any shock experienced by the cameras. Drones can revolutionize the way forest and wildlife conservation research is conducted. Drones provide a bird's eye view of forests and wildlife to obtain information, imagery and data that may be hard to access on foot. Drones can assist in tracking illegal activities, monitor animals, count their population, take exotic images and more. Drones not only act as an alternative method for conservationists with added safety to observe and study subjects, but also are less costly, more efficient and more precise than traditional approaches. In disaster management, drones are immensely useful as they provide a bird's eye view of the entire affected area in a very short amount of time. Drones transmit real-time videos, providing real-time knowledge of the situation. This helps people understand about the extent of damage inflicted on the infrastructure and the state of transportation and logistics. The global forest cover can be analyzed by drones very easily. Drones can also be used to track forest fires and retrieve data that would be difficult to get via other means. Drones can also be used to navigate stream flow and give the status of water bodies. Traffic monitoring via drones can overcome the limitation of traditional methods of monitoring due to its simplicity, mobility, and ability to cover large areas. High-resolution, real-time videos from drones can be relayed to the command and control center to assist on-ground personnel in road monitoring and in traffic guidance. Drones can provide on-ground situational awareness in case of emergencies like road accidents, oil leaks, etc. and can also collect evidence for the same. The data collected by drones can be analyzed to improve traffic flow and road safety. Drones are a significant asset in border security as they allow for real-time reconnaissance, target acquisition, track movements of people and illegal activities via high-quality video feed. Drones mounted with thermal detection cameras are much more superior at tracking irregular activities such as illegal border crossing attempts through dense woods or mountain terrains as compared to stationary video cameras. With drones, forest officials can detect finer changes in forest cover, detect poaching in time, detect encroachers. 
Drones can also be very effective in reforestation. It can provide data on locations where trees can grow and also lay out a plan for the plantation of those trees according to the geology of the terrain. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you really liked it and I hope you found it very informative. So if you really did like it, do leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.